course, it's Tim Means back here in the program. Alex, Alex Oliveira is his opponent coming up, uh, UFC Fight Night 106, um, down in Brazil. But right now, you are got something else on your mind. You're, uh, you're uh, in uh, Minnesota, right, for your wife's fight? Yeah, for King of the Cage tonight here at uh, the Black Bear Casino. So, so uh, this, there's, there's a little thing going on right now with your wife's opponent, and people don't realize this stuff still goes on at the – at the lower at the lower ranks, um, and it's tough for the promoters. It's tough for obviously for the fighters. So, kind of take us through what happened. Uh, we were getting our weight cut last night. Got back from a local gym here. They a lot, a lot of cool hospitality here. They opened the gym to let us train in their gym and uh, get back to the room. Coach Arlene calls and says she's coming up. It's like eleven o'clock at night, and you know, of course, right away we know something's up. She gets to the room, says her opponent broke her hand, which you know, I don't know. How you're working so hard for that to happen, they take four weigh-ins or whatever, but um, no doctor note came up, nothing like that, but now uh, the promoter, Tom Vaughn and, and, and Coach Arlene, you know, they they, they, didn't, they, have, a, they have a group in mind right now who uh, is kind of verbally agreed, but she wants more money, uh, kind of just waiting on, waiting on word, we're supposed to know by noon, now it's by one, so now we're just kind of hanging out in the room. Uh, Cool thing about it is we got moved up from 135 to 145 for Brenda's on. A little below weight or whatever, but uh, we're just we're just waiting we're just waiting for a yes or a no. So just kind of checking out the checking out the casino and the the resort here, and I'm looking outside at this cold ass weather they have going. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny, but you're 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 trying to figure out your wife's opponent. <clears throat> Excuse me, trying to figure out your wife's opponent. You're trying to uh, get ready for your fight that's coming up here on March 11th. You're you're worrying about uh, your wife's training camp. You're worrying about what your wife's going to eat today to make sure she makes weight, even though she is going to come in a little bit lighter. And the one thing that you're really pissed off about is the fact that it's so cold in Minnesota right now. You're just like, that's the biggest thing that's weighing on your mind. It's just funny. Yeah. You know, we got here, <laughs> got out of the car, and there, the damn weather disrespected the shit out of my jacket, you know? So. <laughs> I go layer up, you know, because you know it's cold in New Mexico, but it's, it's here. So, uh, <coughs> two or three jackets on, and then head out to head out to the gym and practice last night. But you know, it comes to the territory. You know, she got she got a lot of good practice in. Um, training camp went good. Her weight cut was going good. So there's a lot of good things to take from it. Say she doesn't get to fight or whatever. Yeah. A lot of good things to take 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 from what what's been going on. So. You're, you're just really calm about it. You're just kind of like, eh, it just is what it is. It's part of the territory. This is kind of what we have to go through. And you're, you're kind of like content with, yes, this could possibly happen. This, yes, this could go like this. And so that's why it's so funny that the, that the weather is your biggest thing because you're like, the rest of it is kind of, eh, it's just kind of just how the, the game goes. Is it frustrating for her? And, and how does that affect your relationship? Um, I'm sure it's frustrating for her. We flew, we flew and traveled a long way yesterday to get here, you know, just to find out last night when she's busting out that, you know, the girl breaks her hand somehow. No doctors, no, no nothing, which, you know, yeah, you know, out there, I think it's an excuse. I think they, uh, they kind of started backpedaling the last minute. Uh, but, you know, we get to check out some cool stuff, you know, so, you know, got to travel, get on the plane, all, all that stuff. So, um, you know, I get super nervous for her fight, so the butterflies build up, whatever, because I can't control the, the the outcome or what's happening in there. So, you know, it's still relatively new territory when she's fighting, you know, but um, even after all these years, which is crazy, like, I still get super nervous and start sweating and all that, but um, we go through it together, you know, where we're, it's, it's a team effort, and she gets to feel that emotion next weekend while we're in Brazil, you know, so... Um, Hopefully, hopefully this is just a small little, little speed bump, and uh, which anyone anyone that's been fighting like yourself, you know, this happened yeah. before. Tony didn't even show up numerous times. Um, what's cool is King of the Cage is still going to give her show money, which is awesome. So, uh, you know, it just comes with the territory, and you learn how to deal with that in your head, you know. Well, that's the you know, Terry Trevelcock, the the owner of King of the Cage, been around forever because of the fact that that he does do stuff like that way before anybody else did. Where he's like, look, sorry, the opponent dropped out. Here's your show money. I know you trained. I know right. you got bills. So here's your money. Of course, it's not that much money, but it still is yeah. money coming in. Right. So you know, how? You know, Terry's always treated me good as well. So we have yeah. a good relationship. I, I really like Terry. You know, I I think King of the Cage is a great promotion to deal with. Um, you know, the pay or whatever isn't isn't through the roof or anything like that, but they definitely help you get ready under the lights for bigger events. 
cameras in your face. So a lot of that stuff pays off, you know? Yeah, it really does. It really does set you up for to get ready for a UFC or Bellator run because there are cameras around. They are videotaping from Mav TV. It is getting interviews. You do have a ring announcer. Like it's a full, <laughs> the full game is just at a smaller level, you know. And it's and it's it works. Like it works because a lot of great guys have come out of there. Um, and, and it's got to be frustrating. I can't even imagine. But how is this going to affect your training? Getting ready for Alex? Uh, like I said, I got off the airplane last night. Got here. Got dressed out. Went to a local gym. Trained. Um, I think I got off, I, I got off the airplane at 190, I think, you know, because okay. you're, you're holding water or whatever. By the time I got done my practice, I was 183.8. So my body's acting great, man. I'm, I'm in good shape right now. My lungs feel good. And uh, if anyone's ever trained traveling, right, that's the hardest time to really train, you know. You got all that lax gas that builds up. You're, you're stiff. All your joints are, are stiff or whatever. But, um, you know, our athletic trainer gave, a lot, gave us a lot of stretches to do while we were here to warm up, all that good stuff. So um, things are good right now, man. Uh, Brenda, Brenda's, Brenda's the deal right now. We got to deal with her issue right now. But um, Oliveira, we're gonna left up, we're gonna leave off. We're gonna start where we left off in Vegas. You know, he's gonna be running from me. I'm gonna walk him down and beat him up. So, how important is it to get a win on this one? I mean, obviously after the no contest the last time, but I mean, how important is it to go? Look, this is what's gonna happen the first time. The fight is definitely over. There's no question. There's no judge's decision. This thing is a done. Like, how important is that for you? I know, I know you just want to get the win, but there's also got to be a part of you that's like, I got to get this thing. I got to prove to the world that this guy's a flake. Well, uh, you know, man, my, it's more for my teammates, you know, especially my, my, my teammates, Steve Hanna and, and Sadia Parker. They've been mimicking the Cowboys. You know, we had with Donald Cerrone and then, then this Cowboy. So they're really just, they're ready to shut the chapter on a Cowboy. They're, they're tired of having to be a Cowboy. <laughs> so, um, I, I set the chapter for those guys, you know. Uh, I seen I seen Alex uh, Oliveira saying that you know he's he's frustrated and mad because I hit him with an intentional cheap shot and all that. You know what? The frustration is on the same side there, cowboy, because he didn't cowboy up. Matter of fact, he got knocked down and he stayed down, and then he got up to appeal. He got to appeal the stoppage and then realized that oh, it was a timeout from a from a illegal knee or whatever, and then he fell over and he really acted it out really well, yeah. you know. So. Um, I lost a lot of respect for this guy, and I want to I, I want to put him all over the canvas in front of his people. And if anyone's followed my career, this is when I got my back into a corner, mm-hmm. and I got the whole crowd against me. So um, it's not the wrong guy in for a homecoming, and I'm looking to be the bull that breaks this cowboy. That's I think this is gonna be a great fight. It's really one of the most exciting fights on the entire card. Um, you know, tell Brenda we said good luck. You know, this is I know it's a pain in the ass, and she has no idea who she's fighting at this point. It may not know until, you know, until right at, uh, believe me, it'll be, they say one o'clock, it'll be one yeah. twenty. it'll be one twenty. Oh, hey, we got somebody like, right. Okay. You know, that's just how right. it goes. So have fun, man. Enjoy, enjoy that uh, Minnesota. Why don't you go out there and try to make yourself a snowman? My, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to walk snow from right here where I'm sitting. No, no, no I'm not. No. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't bring the right boots or nothing, so I expected for us to be only in the hotel. We had to walk across the parking lot last night, but you know, it was a good hundred yards. But uh, it, was, it was cold, man. The wind was too much in town, so uh, you know it, it, it's cool, man. We get to travel, see stuff. You yeah. know, so it, it's a neat environment, and then these kind of things like this, you know, it just makes you more mentally tough, and it lets you just kind of roll. Uh, things will come and go, things will change and pop up, and you know, you just you just happen. Yep, I love it. Tim, I love your attitude. I can't wait for this fight to happen. Have fun the rest of the rest of the training camp. Enjoy yourself and we'll see you down in Brazil. Thanks, Frank.